good morning. This is Gabby. I just um, just woke up. This is like when you're not supposed to have a video camera on you. And your eyes are still poofy. And your hair looks like I'm up. So I'm doing it anyway. That is That is my commitment to you. Oh my God, these pillows are so comfortable. So we are at Mara Macaron. Macaron. Kugali, Kungali, Kundali, Kundali. I don't know. You know, I'll learn the name once we leave. So we are at this boutique hotel. This is our first boutique hotel in Ivelik. And I'm lying in the bed and looking at just the details. And I'm just, um, I feel such. <laughs> it's a great video, Gabby. <laughs> You've got your zit sticking out and your eyes poofy and your hair looking like that. Oh, yeah. Bring it on, baby. Um, and I'm thinking I just feel deep appreciation. And I was telling Kobe, like, this isn't some corporate decision made in a boardroom, you know, with people in suits. This, this hotel, this, this little beautiful, um love love touched corner is a mama and papa business this is a husband and wife sitting at the kitchen table after the kids have gone to sleep and saying should we do it or not should we quit our nine to five job and put our investment into this dream you know should we make this dream come true can we do it um, what will it happen if we work together how will that affect our relationship can we you know make enough money this is like you know a husband and wife making a decision over the kitchen table. <gasps> oh, excuse me. <laughs> and I'm really um, honored and so deeply appreciative to be a part of that, to know that we were invited by a couple to stay with them and experience their hotel, um, their boutique hotel. And I, we just, we again, we arrived last night. We just put our bags down. Oh, bags, by the way. You know, my back is having some pretty serious issues. So we said, you know, the rolly cart that I have for my mom and dad, which was my mom and my stepdad, which is a Samsonite, doesn't have a handle. And that was hurting my back. So we bought a new rolly bag in um, Istanbul with a handle. And the first time we used it, the handle ended up in our hands. <sighs> so now we have two rolly carts so without handles. Um, Thank you for that, you know, good salesman who said it was good quality, whatever. So, um, what was I saying? Oh, I lost the train of thought. Anyway, we really appreciate being here. Um, the bird is back in the window, which is really good. The bird came back. The bird came back. It was really funny. Last night we get into bed and they have this, um, uh, it's, <laughs> it's called, it's not called a mosquito net. It's called a princess, I forgot what it's called. Anyway, it's like this deeply romantic thing. I get in bed and Kobe's like, I feel like we're in a mosquito net. We're back on Kurong Island. I'm having, you know, post-traumatic stress <laughs> disorder back flashes. Take it off. <laughs> and I'm like, what are you talking about? This is romantic. <laughs> so we have this, <laughs> this beautiful discussion about deeply romantic and like, you know, deeply disturbing. <laughs> I'm so excited to be here. I'm so grateful. Um, going out to the porch now, to the to the to our private balcony to do some yoga and meditation. Yes, um, I'm really grateful. I was in the car. We were in the car yesterday for eight hours, and my back didn't hurt. Do you know that? Yeah. My back didn't hurt. Good driving. Yeah, the driver. <laughs> Give it up for the driver. Hey. It's the driver. I look horrible. So. I know, I told him, I said, you're going to see me with my eyes poofy, my hair looking like a mop. <laughs> and I have this, like, volcano. drunk. Oh, sexy baby. So this is the real Ross. So... I want to wake the kids up, and I'm like, just let them sleep. They're really tired. Yeah. Today, I want to get the readers done. I really want to get this book thing going. Alazi wanted to read last night, you know? 
Oh, it's... Rusty's is so funny. Every night, he like can't handle how tired he is, so he has like this complete five, you know, ten scale breakdown. Um, he's so sweet. And last night it was because he wanted to read, and he couldn't. His reader was in the car. That's what we're doing today. I have two goals for the day. One is lice. I'm ridiculously itchy, and everyone's full of lice. So one, I'm gonna do a lice treatment for everyone. Want to walk? Yes, of course we're gonna walk. Okay, so one, we're gonna walk. Walk for two hours. Walk for two hours? Yes. Okay, so one, we're gonna walk for two hours. Two, we're gonna do lice. I don't wanna do the chemicals. I just wanna pick, you know, everyone's eggs out and stuff, and do the brush. And three, we're gonna figure out the readers. I I don't have anything to read. Last night, like we got rid of all of our books because we're like, we have ebooks now. We have a library account. <laughs> I got rid of, we got rid of every single paper book we have. Um, last night, I wanted to read. No, the night before, I wanted to read so badly. When we were at Pasha's house. I I looked through everyone's bag. I found Danya had a book. It was called Fabulous Five, Famous Five. It was so dreadfully boring. It was a very English book, and I'm sure people love it. I skipped to the very end, to the exciting part with the drama where they figure figure out the case, and that was slightly better, but I was bored to death. I need a book. I need a book. I even got rid of the power of now. <gasps> I know. I have it. Oh, you do? Uh, yeah. I have it uh, on my reader. Yeah, but you read at night. I need my own things on my own reader. I'll give it to you. I want to read something else. Power of tomorrow? Yes, the power of tomorrow. Have a good day. Bye. Bye, Kobe.